Hi, Freedom Engine now has the ability to deploy applications quickly and easily to Android devices. And um, to do this, basically, you take a project. This is my uh, my Space Fighter project. As you can see, I've gone well beyond the um, the 4,000 character limit with this one because I'm on a gold account. And uh, we'll just show it in the browser quickly. So if I click on Play here, it will demonstrate it working within the web browser itself nice and smoothly. So there we go, we've got the Space Fighter screen, and if I press space to start, there we go. So if I now blast away at these things, I basically get um, extra drones. And the AI is still intact, and it's all doing what it should. So there we go, of course, an extra drone now for every um, 10 points I get. Um, obviously this is just a development version, so I'll put this up to 50 or so for the main release. Um, but as you can see, every time I, I get a multiple of 10 on my score, I get an extra drone to worry about. And, uh, and the code is nice and modular now, so basically I can have um, anywhere from 10 to 99 to as many um, things as uh, this software will basically um, support. So anyway, we'll stop that there, and uh, I will deploy it on Android. So all we do for this is click on Deploy, and we've got our usual HTML5 thing where you can uh, um, update the deployment, remove deployment, etc, etc. But this is the one we're interested in, the Android icon. Um, now, um, the logo didn't quite work for me. It still came up with the default um, Freedom Engine logo. Not a big issue. I've emailed off to let them know about it. And uh, uh, the rest is very easy, so all I'm going to do now is type in a company name, so I'm just going to go with DC Foreman, and this is now Space Fighter Project, or Space Fighter Project Alpha, uh, next one will be Beta and whatever, yeah, um, so anyway, uh, and then all you do is click on Deploy, so you type in company name, app name, and Deploy, and as you can see, it then downloads very quickly, it's only a 21 meg project, and while that's doing it, um, what I'll basically do is turn on File Manager Pro, which is up there, and uh, I've already navigated there. So anyway, um, select files, and all I'm going to do now is wirelessly send it to my Android tablet. Uh, start upload, and as you see, it's now uploading nice and quickly. And then for the next part, I'll swap over to my camera and, uh, and I'll show you the stuff on the actual device in real time. So there you go, that's now been uploaded. Hi, so this is my Android device and basically what I'm going to do now is um, hit File Manager and go into my micro SD and go into my download folder and as you can see the app game kit logo is there so that's com dot uh, space fighter project alpha so all I'm going to do is tap on that now um, click on OK because I'm replacing a previous installation then click on install and it will sit there installing quite nicely and then just click on open and as you can see, the Space Fighter project is now working just like that on my Android device. So what I do is I tap on the screen and the ship positions itself there. Every time it taps, it fires a missile as well. A little bit crude, but as you can see, it is working. Whoops, and I just died. <laughs> but as you can see, the basic concept is there. And it's that easy to get um, your application on Android. I'll probably add some accelerometer functions to this game. And, uh, and proper touch control interface because the tapping isn't exactly ideal. But as you can see, the game is working. And it's that easy now to get your game from um, Freedom Engine 
onto Android. There's no complicated compiling processes. You don't have to worry about players or anything. Um, all you do is deploy, send the APK to your Android device, and that's it. So I hope you enjoy, and I hope you make some good use of Freedom Engine.